Anderson from Self-Contained Lifestyle and welcome back to this segment of Painting the Living Room. And this is the exciting part. We are now beginning to look at the painting. I've got a whole lot of jobs going on at the moment. I've still got that concrete drying uh, on, on the hole in the wall and I've got the filler on the door drying, but I, I want to do that you know, put, fit the door after I've done this. So you can get a whole lot of jobs going on at one time. And today, now, I'm going to be starting to get the all-purpose filler and filling up the little holes. Okay, you got, I've got the all-purpose filler and I've mixed it. Now, you're always going to get holes like this and little marks where there were pictures and you want to pull them out because you want to put your own in. So we just take this and we smear it over the top to fill the hole in nicely. Now there's quite a few in this room, so I'm just going to do it like this, and it's a real easy job. There's a lot of them. I'll be back with you when I'm, I've finished them all. Okay, now that I've filled all the little holes in that with all-purpose powder mixed with some water, I must now take my trusty old sandpaper and uh, sanding block and go down and sand all the walls except the walls that are papered. And that's the ones around the chimney. I can't pa uh, sand those. But all the rest, I'm just going to give a nice light sand, all the skirtings, and um, I'm going to leave the doors till last because that's a special job on its own. Look, this job is going to take a while. Let me finish up and then I'll be back with you. Okay, I've just sanded down all the walls. And now they're all dusty and everything else. So I must take some sugar soap now. Remember, it's 250 grams to about four, four and a half liters of water. Mix it in a bowl. Wear rubber gloves or whatever. But protect all your surfaces where there's going to be splashes. Because this stuff is quite strong. So anyway, I'm going to get stuck in now and I'm going to wash the walls. And after that, I'll come back to you and we'll be ready to paint. It's just a simple job from wiping off from the top to the bottom and it takes all the dust and grease and everything off and leaves your surface nice and ready for painting. Always remember, work from top to bottom so that as it runs, you can pick up the runs because you don't want runs on your work. And just carry on and do the whole room. It's not a difficult job, it's quite an easy job. But it is an important one to get a real nice finish of paint left over. Okay, let me crack on with this and I'll be back with you later. Well, okay, now we're ready to begin to the painting and this is a real exciting spot. But all this, like the mantelpiece has got beautifully polished surfaces and the fireplace and its marble surround, um, we've got to paper it off even before painting the ceiling because any paint that will fall will fall onto this and we don't want to spoil it. So, remember, as I said, you tear off nice manageable pieces and we get to placing them down. And remember, attention to detail in this and you'll get beautiful straight edges. Now, I'm going to taper off all, paper off, uh, tape off all this area and when I come to putting the paper on, I'll come back to you. As you can see, I papered all around the edges, including the carpet, so that we have got a nice sharp edge where the paint is going to be. Now, we have to get some newspaper and cover the rest. Okay, now that we've masked off the nice sharp edges, we now can get a newspaper and put it around all over the area and it shouldn't be too much of a problem because we don't have to worry about cutting in sharp edges. So, we can just go ahead and tack the newspaper on in all the places where we want it to be stuck. Okay, I'm going to carry on and put the rest of the paper on and then I'll show you how it is when it's finished. Well, there we are. I've now finished off the masking. I've done the um, mantelpiece and fireplace. I've done the uh, light fitting. I've done all the plugs, I've done the vents, and uh, I'm now ready to go. Okay, it's now time to paint. We're going to start on with the edging of the ceiling. I didn't have to mask it off, 
because I'm, I'll cut in to the edge um, when I do the magnolia. So I've got my little tray of paint, I've got my paintbrush, and let me begin. Okay, I've got my paint. Now, this area here, a roller can't get into. So I've got to cut into here and a little bit over the edge over here and do all these edgings over here right round the whole ceiling. So let's get to that now. Oh wow, look how different this colour is. The white is so white compared to what was on here. It's all the years and years of coal. They've had a coal fire burning here and it's all the coal dust that has settled down um, onto the ceiling and it's browned and made it darker over the years. And now that I'm putting this new coat on, Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. You know what? This room is going to take quite a few coats of ceiling. So, let me carry on. And uh, when I'm finished the edging, um, then we can get past and, and you know, get on to the, the, the ceilings over here. And I also have to do around that light fitting. So let me carry on and I'll be back with you. Okay, well I finished painting the edges around the top of the ceiling behind me here, you can see it. And uh, I've got to now get my roller and paint the ceiling. Now this ceiling is going to take quite a few coats and I also want to paint this wall over here, this dark brown wall white. Even though the final colour is going to be magnolia, I want to paint it white so that the magnolia goes on very, very nicely and it doesn't have any problems. I haven't got much magnolia, but I've got plenty of white. So doing that, I managed to save a bit on the paint and everything else. Okay, so let me crack on with the ceiling and when I'm finished, we'll get around to doing the rest. Yes! Please subscribe!